hi again and in this video I'll show you how to create and how to run a Python program. In the previous lecture uh, we set up Python and we ran a Python interactive session. So that was like a running code line by line. But what we want to do instead we want to uh, write code that uh, we, we are able to save it in a file and we are able to uh, run all the code at once. So that's what we're going to do in this lecture. And this is targeted to Windows users. So if you have a Windows computer, please watch this. If you have a Mac computer or even a Linux computer, please skip this video and go to the next video uh, where I show you the same process but on a Mac computer. So Windows users, uh, let's create a Python program. Uh, we're going to uh, use very basic tools for now, but then in the next lecture we're going to uh, download and use an advanced editor. On Windows, before uh, creating the program, there's something you need to make sure of. Uh, you go to Organize and you go to Folder and Search Options. You go to View and then look here for this option, hide extensions for known file types. You want to make sure this option is unchecked, just as I have it here. Don't check it. Yeah. Cancel that. And with the option unchecked, uh, you go ahead and right click and create, create a text document and put a name, let's say my program, and you want to remove the txt extension. I want to say .py. Okay, no problem. I want to change the name. Now, this is the file where you're going to write your Python code. So just go ahead and edit, uh, uh, edit it with any editor that you have. Maybe Notepad. We're going to use Atom later. For now, this is good. And uh, uh, this program, what this will do, it, uh, it will print out some text. Let's say hello text. So that's what you do. You use the Python print function. And then the function has this syntax. So it expects to have some brackets, opening and closing brackets. And inside these brackets, you want to pass the thing that you want to print out. In this case, this is called a string. We'll cover strings later. Or you can say text. So we want to print out some text, and text goes inside quotes always. So strings goes uh, strings go inside quotes. Uh, make sure you want to save Control S, exit the script, and then click outside in here, and hold Shift, and right click, and then you want to go to Open Command Window here. That will open the command prompt. Look carefully, and you'll see that. The command prompt was open in this current directory, uh, which reflects, uh, which is actually the directory uh, of your Python file. So this one in here, this one in here is in here. So before you run the program, you need to have these two directories the same. Because if you open the command prompt from here, as we did in the previous lecture, that will go to another default directory. Mm, so uh, the best way to do is as I did it here. Shift right click and go to open command window here. And then what you do is you type Python and then the name of your program. My program.py. So what you're doing is you're using Python, the Python program, to execute this file. And you get the output in the command line, which is hello, the, the text hello. Similarly, I could uh, execute it with my Python 3.6.py and you get the same output again. So 3.6 and 3.7 doesn't make any big difference. The differences are very, very slight. So you don't have to worry about that. Let me execute it one more time, Python. And if you type now my and if you press the tab key, that will auto-complete the name of your file. So it will find the name of your file because it knows that you are in this current directory. So use tab for auto-completion. And yeah, again, you execute it and you get the output. Of course, you can go ahead and add other lines of code there. Let's say print 7, a number. Numbers don't go inside quotes. 
uh, Ctrl S to save and close and go to the command line again and press the upper arrow key to execute to, to call a previously executed statement so upper arrow key will call python my program dot py execute and you get hello and seven that's the idea hope you enjoy this and i'll talk to you in the next lecture